Hi guys, today we are going to learn how to draw a graphic score. So first things first, we're going to need a couple of things, uh, one of them being paper, grab a few sheets so you can try out different things, and the other is some pens or pencils or crayons or paints, whatever you have in the house to get colourful and creative will be amazing. So first things first, what is a graphic score? So when you're thinking about what a graphic score is, a graphic score is just a way that you can read music in a coherent manner. Um, and there's lots of different ways. But before we go into that, we need to think about what an actual normal musical score looks like for most musicians. And it looks a little bit like this. Uh, there's lots of dots and lines and symbols and things that some of you might not be very familiar with. Um, but don't you worry, these are not going to be anything to do with our graphic score. Uh, it can be a little bit overwhelming to look at as a non-musician, but we want to make it as easy for you as possible by using graphic score and using uh, different symbols and words and easy things that you can understand. So, yeah. So now we want to think about what a graphic score is. A graphic score is is a score made up of lines and shapes and colours that we can easily follow and that anyone can draw. Um, so here is one here, uh, some lovely shapes in there, um, lots of different shapes and, and words and ideas and all the ideas have sort of certain things attached and like an instrument attached to them or a sound attached to them or a rhythm attached to them, whatever you can think of. Um, you can put into your graphic score with lines and dots and drawings, um, words, whatever you want. It's totally up to you. So a graphic score is just a really easy way for us to read music. So the next thing you want to do is you want to think of a theme and you want to write that theme down on a sheet of paper so you've always got that theme to hand. It's really great to always have your theme um, just there <laughs> just to remind you what you set out to make in the first place so I was just writing the Love Glasgow theme that we had already set out for you guys to use so the next thing you want to do is you want to pick a certain strand of your theme or a certain idea of your theme and just kind of run with it um I was thinking what I would like to use from the Love Glasgow theme or Love From Glasgow and I thought I would just love to use the word love because it's such a great sort of encompassing word that has a lot of feelings and ideas attached to it. So I've written that out nice and clear for me to see. Next thing's next, I grab my other pen or a different pen and our fourth thing we need to do is we want to start drawing some lines, a direction of our music. So it needs to start somewhere, so make sure you start from the beginning. And I decided I wanted to go up and along the L and back down. So at this point I thought, well, I'm going to choose to follow the shapes of the words in my graphic score. So on the upwards line, you could be thinking going up the scale, um, going down the scale, on the downward section, um, or getting soft or loud, whatever you want. And this section, I've decided I want to go really fast. Um, on the O, I've taken inspiration to kind of maybe spiral really, really slowly, or you could spiral out of control. Um, but I've decided I want to spiral really, really slowly, kind of going red in this nice circular motion. So you can come up with circular ideas. So the V, I've just gone with that shape again. And I kind of thought of a rocket ship when I drew that, actually. Um, and I thought that rocket ship on the way up should be really, really fast, but it's a slow takeoff, but then it's a really fast movement once it's up in the air. So the E, I've just kind of taken inspiration again from the shape of the letter, and I've just kind of wiggled around the lines of that E. And then I've finished my piece, because remember, we need a start and a finish. And I've just written that word wiggle there because I like to think of that wiggly feeling that you get when you just love someone so much and you just, oh, you get so excited. So that's our first part of how we write a graphic score. Um, 
there's lots of different ways, like I showed you before, there's lots of different pictures and things, but I've decided to go with a drawing of a word. So the next thing's next, we want to start adding to this score because we've only kind of got a rough idea of where our music is going to go. So we need to think, we need to add some instruments, some sounds, some dynamics. Dynamics are louds and soft in music. So I'm starting at the beginning. It's always really great to start at the beginning with any writing. So the first thing, I'm drawing an arrow out to make it nice and clear. And I want this up section to be where my drums come in. Um, this could be a drum beat getting faster or going louder or going up uh, the tones of the drums. Uh, I decided the down section was going to introduce my bottle instruments. You know, when you get a glass bottle and you fill it up with water and it makes different tones, you can mess around with that and find different tones that you want to add in. Uh, my fast section here, I decided I wanted to bring in shakers. You could use a salt shaker. Um, the slow section here, I decided was going to start out with a really, really um, big sound, a huge sound. And then I thought it was such a large section, I needed to split it up. So you'll see in a second, I draw another arrow and I start to add to it. So down the bottom here, I decide that I should maybe start getting softer because I've just had this massive sound and maybe I should, maybe I should get softer. Yeah, I've decided I want to go softer. <laughs> so I'm going to get softer here. And then I kind of start looking around to the next part of my circle thinking, okay, I've still got a lot of space. Let's go grab another section. So we're straight at the end of this big circle now. So there's lots of ideas in this one O. So make sure you utilize all the space that you've made. Uh, this section I've decided to get really, really soft. So I've just kind of been gradually getting softer throughout that whole section. So I'm going to go on to the V now and I'm thinking of this slow, fast idea. And I've decided I'm going to bring in um, some instruments made from cans and keyboards. So you could be crushing the cans, you could be just running your fingers up and down the keyboards. Remember you can download keyboard apps and drum apps as well if you want. So we're going to go on to the wiggle section and I decided in this section that I was kind of going to go between louds and softs and louds and softs, you know, kind of wiggling in and out of those lovely dynamics. So I start with loud and then I go into soft and then I go back to loud again and then I end with some soft and then I'm thinking this sort of love thing should just be nice and mellow uh, for the finishing part uh, but again you can elaborate so much on this you can elaborate so much um, it's completely up to you on what you want to do um, so I'm just pointing out here again that you've got your drum beat with your up section you've got your cross section again I didn't write anything here but you can fill things in uh, the down section bringing in my bottle instruments uh, the fast section, this is when I bring in a shaker, so my shaker is going super, super fast. Um, and then this slow rounded section is gradually getting um, softer. So it's gone from a really big sound to getting softer to being really, really soft by the end of that. And then the slow, fast rocket ship section um, that's been used with cans and keyboards and then I'm just apparently just showing that one more time in case you didn't understand the slow fast <laughs> approach that I was going for and then uh, the wiggle section we're going to go loud soft loud soft um, just going in and out of sound there um, yeah and then we're finishing off. Uh, now, it's really important. Uh, one of the things I like to think of is starting the way you intend to finish or finishing the way you started. So having a sort of theme um, that you start. So that's kind of that's kind of it. And I hope you guys enjoy um, 
finding new ways of writing graphic scores. Remember, you can be as creative and as an imaginative as you want. This is just my version and I can't wait to see what you guys write down. So that's it guys. I hope you enjoy writing graphic scores. See you later.